in the end of the first movie, you'll remember that it ended with some Jubilee characters. So if you've seen the first Lego movie, and I'm about to spoil it for you now, um, just be warned, be warned, yes, yes, be warned, anyway. So, you'll remember that there are these Jubilee characters who came down, and they seem like these weird characters, and it was like, what on earth is this? This film continues with that, except after the Jubilee characters came, everything went wrong. Yeah, typical kind of movie thing. Everything goes wrong when these aliens from outer space come. Everything goes wrong, everyone's in a disaster. You know, we've seen that all before. Yes, this film follows a similar premise. However, Lego City seems to have been destroyed into this western town. Then everyone looks so evil with, and everyone seems all grown up and everything. Yeah. So the whole game from the first movie's there. Except, they aren't, just a little while later. Because all of them but Evan go off in this spaceship with this weird character who comes down to their town and takes them with them. Well, they go with them, and then Emmett tries to set out to get them. And then he meets this other guy who's giving him all this cool advice, who's a big admirer of him. Now, sequels are rarely better than originals. But there is one thing in this film that I think is better than the originals. Yes, the original had the great song, Everything is Awesome, which was nominated for the Oscar for Best Original Song. So, of course, the first film did have a good song in there. But this film has got loads of great songs. I really like the music in this film. And I like how the characters feel like they're going into this musical when this alien starts singing to them. It's just such a unique thing that only the Lego movie do. They parody other stories. I really like that stuff. Technically, this is a very impressive movie. Of course it would be. It's a Lego movie. They had this unique style. And I love the pop culture references and Easter eggs. Now, problems with this film. The story isn't just as clever as the first film. The first one was a really witty film and I really enjoyed it. This film I didn't enjoy so much. It still is a good film, but the story I wasn't as invested in. And I was getting pretty bored near the end of the film, I must. Voice acting was generally pretty good, except for one actress, who I felt could have done a lot better performance. That was Tiffany Haydish, maybe I said it wrong, but she plays this shape-shifting alien. I just feel like she could have been a lot better as this shape-shifting alien. She had a bit of a quiet voice, would have liked her to have spoken a bit louder, and a bit more enthusiasm. I thought she could have been a lot better, and that was a bit disappointing. Also, there are things that happened in the story that I was thinking, I don't like this, but then something happens and I do like this. That's a bit weird, and I feel like I experienced that that much when watching a film. That was just interesting, an interesting experience that I experienced watching this film. I also didn't like a lot of the blurry live-action sequences. They were trying to show it from a Lego character's perspective, but... Eh. Anyway, this film is a good film. Go check it out if you loved the first one. Probably will disappoint you a little bit. It's not quite as good as we all want it to be, but it still is fun. Still is a good film. I'm gonna give the Lego Movie 2 a B. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe before the video ends in T minus 3, 2, 1.